What's going on everybody, LK here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about execution. So, Guilty Gear Strive has been out for almost a month now. I guess basically a month we've had early access, and uh, one of the things that people were talking about a lot when this game came out was how everything was simplified, and how um, execution doesn't seem to be as important as it was back in the past, things like that. So, I've made a video already about things that people used to say but today I wanted to address something that I've been hearing a lot and I'm gonna be using this clip so he gets he gets a knockdown here okay Mawaru overhead not blocked he he bursts at some point so this is an unblockable and because of his resource he does unblockable into unblockable again so wait fellas let me let me tell you about real guilty here real quick so this is kind of an old clip. Well, the tournament itself is old. The clip is actually new, but this is a clip of Lord Ogawa himself in Axie Core Togeki, so the Japanese national, doing uh, basically a command grab into a double unblockables. For lack of a better word, I was shitposting on my uh, clips channel. That's basically what I do. It's kind of fun. And I posted this clip and I was like, man, real guilty gear right here. And the amount of comments I got that said, it's fine because it's hard is troubling there's no other way to put it like this is actually there is nothing you could do about this once it starts like i i definitely want to say like execution is not the limit like there are so many things in competitive games that people have said when the thing was discovered is too hard so from things like all the way back like melee wave dashing marvel plank dashing for my dragon ball players even universal fuzzy that everybody started to do after a couple of weeks and the first time people saw it and they saw you had to buffer that dash frame one people were like i don't know about this one man this mix-up's kind of cheap but like you have to be able to do it it's kind of tough there's so many things that people have said that are too hard if the thing is good people are going to do it no matter what just because it takes some execution to do command grab into unblockable into another unblockable does not make that okay that is crazy it does not make that okay i'm surprised how many people commented saying it's fine because it's hard if it was in a game today with uh, with that character everyone would be trying to do it all the time it is that good this is not the only example of something like this as well. I've played a couple of fighting games that have unblockable loops like these. Um, Arxis unblockables tend to work the same way where they don't actually hit on the same frame, but it's like a one frame difference. So it's pretty tough to deal with. Uh, I've had to deal with this in a tournament and a couple of games, uh, mainly Blaze Blue. So Blaze Blue, Calamity Trigger and BBCS1, Continuum Shift and BBCS2. We had to deal with these for a while. Um, also in Persona, there was another unblockable that was much, much, much easier than these, uh, um, the Carl style and Eddie style unblockables of hitting high and low at the same time, essentially the same time, where uh, Shadow Labras has one where it's just a, a command grab setup that you can't jump out of, essentially. So if the thing is there, and and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use unblockables as the specific example, but basically like once once the character gets to the point where like oh they can loop their unblockable, the character gets super one dimensional. It's one of the reasons why I don't like this. Again, I really dislike that people say it's hard, so it's okay. It's not okay. That's all the character is going to do and go for for like the rest of that version of the game because of how strong it is. All people are going to do once they get over that, whatever execution requirement it is. So uh, I actually, I specifically, by the way, don't know how difficult the uh, XX Action Core one is, but like so many people, even like back when I started playing fighting games and X Core was out, people were doing it already. So uh, it can't, it can't be that hard. It has to be like something like with some practice you can get. Uh, every car player on planet Earth went for unblockables while they're available. Like. If they're there, they're there. Every Shadow Labs player has had their unblockables on deck. If they're there, they're there. What ends up happening is that once the unblockable's there, then all the character's development is around making this unblockable thing better. We're avoiding reversals, avoiding bursts, just avoiding everything and locking out of the game and going for it. It's not something I really like. You might be like, oh man, well you play some play characters, you basically lock them out of the game. But it's like there's usually counterplay for like the knockdowns it's still a mix-up like it's a 50 50 you're not just getting hit by like a hundred zero or like a hit up it's a mix-up right and 
more, more modern games keep putting in stuff to protect you from these type of situations. You might also be like, well, okay, maybe you're right about this LK, but again, this is only for like old games. Like, yeah, maybe GG Accent Core is the best version of Guilty Gear, that's what some boomers say, but it's an old game, like who cares? So instead, let me use a game that uh, people are playing right now. How about Exert? Talking about Johnny, yes sir. Johnny, uh, I've heard this same thing from people who uh, aren't too deep into the game, or maybe just like watching the game, that like, yeah, they get that Johnny is like essentially the best character, but it's cool because his combos are hard. It's another example. It doesn't matter how hard it is, people will do it. And Johnny has, I mean, even talking about the Mist Finder levels and damage aside, the huge advantage he has over other characters is that he always gets to do these combos off every hit when he's leveled up. So once he hits you once and that sweep is going to leave in level 3 for sure, the next hit is going to lead into whatever combo. Even like those super hard combo trials into a treasure hunt, the super that gives him his coins back, people do that in tournaments all the time despite the uh, difficulty. So it's never going to stop somebody from doing the thing. So I just wanted to talk about this real quick. There's actually another aspect of execution I want to talk about, but it will take me a little bit longer to set up. So I just want to make this quick video because that shit is crazy. If you have that take, you need to go back and review it a little bit because just because it's hard is not does not make it okay. We gotta stop, we gotta stop romanticizing execution for bullshit, like fucking unblockable, it to unblockable, okay? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Like, subscribe if you guys feel like it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.